Hello, we love you, we care about you, you're in our prayers. Wherever you are, whatever time you find this, we invite you not only to watch and listen, but to join with us in worship, in prayer, in praise, and in growing in our faith in God, in Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit. We're so good to have you with us. We meet each Sunday at the church at 1030. You're welcome to join us in person. We have a change in our schedule. We have been doing our Zoom fellowship on Sunday afternoons at 2.30 every week. And beginning in November, we'll do that just twice a month. In November, it'll be November 6th and November 20th. You are all very welcome to join us at those times, check in, and spend some time together. I'd also like you to know that there will be a memorial service for Gail Steyer that will be on Saturday, November 19th at 11 o'clock. It will be followed by a meal. All this will be happening at the church. If you'd like to come, please let us know. If you haven't signed up on the sheet at the church or let Greg know, then you can call Ellie at the church office. I also wanted to mention that this is a Stewardship Sunday. We passed out the cards last week and we sent virtual cards to all of you. If you would like to let us know what you plan on giving in the coming year, you can either drop the card in the mail or send a note to myself or to Lori Joris. Let us enter into worship with our call to worship, which is adapted from Psalm 32. While I kept silence, my body wasted away. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. You forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer prayer to you. The rush of mighty waters shall not reach them. You preserve them from trouble. You surround us with glad cries of deliverance. Let us pray. Well, loving God, we thank you for your love and your forgiveness and your grace. We thank you for your love for us that allows us to come before you, to be with you in prayer, to make new beginnings. We thank you that we may come to you to let our needs be known. We pray for those who are sick and hurting. We pray for those who are alone and isolated. We pray especially for those who grieve. We pray for our nation as we come into a time of voting. Guide us and protect us. Help us to value what we have in the privilege of voting. We pray for countries where there is no opportunity to vote, no opportunity to speak. We pray for countries that are at war, countries where a few have everything and the rest have almost nothing. Help us to work for a better world. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ who taught us to pray saying, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who harm us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Please watch for the other videos.